12 million people are totally blind. And 45 million people are visually handicapped. 88% of the blindness in India is curable with quality Medicare. But is there anybody out there who cares? Is there anybody out there to help? Is there anybody out there to empathize? Yes, there is somebody working to dispel this darkness. Sri Kanchi Kamakoti Medical Trust. It all started 20 years ago in this very same place. Sri Kanchi Shankaracharyas felt that the need of the hour is to provide quality health care to the common man. Ten young doctors in their mid-twenties and ten volunteers positively responded to the call of the Shankaracharyas. A small primary health care program was started in this very same two-room center on 21st May 1977. After 10 years of primary health service, the trust realized it could do a great deal more in the field of eye care. Setting up the Shankara Eye Society under the guidance of Dr. S. Balasubramaniam, the trust launched three major programs. Eye Bank to propagate and popularize the concept of eye donation in and around Coimbatore. Gift of Vision a rural outreach eye care program started with Rotary Club of Coimbatore Central to deliver quality Medicare at the doorstep of rural India. The Shankara Eye Hospital to provide modern and high quality Medicare to everyone regardless of socio-economic status. The aim of Shankara movement is to render service with empathy. Every one of these programs met with resounding success. If today the Trust receives a pair of eyes almost every day, it is thanks to the dedicated effort of educating and motivating the community. For 490 Sundays now, the Gift of Vision program has reached out to cover over 4 million people, delivering quality eye care with empathy. What started as a primary health care program 20 years ago has now blossomed into this institution. 5.26 acres of gifted land transformed into a state-of-the-art eye care center. 120-bed hospital where 70% of the beneficiaries are the rural poor. A hospital where 75 honorary consultants from five specialities of medicine provide their services free, where 100 medical and paramedical staff work with 100% commitment. Small wonder that the hospital's success rate is 98% today. At Shankara, our idea is to use the latest in technology and equipment to deliver the highest quality Medicare to every patient, regardless of his economic status. Wiley lost vision in both her eyes when she was three due to smallpox. She grew up studying in a blind school in Bargur. In her 10th standard, she was brought to the Shankara Eye Hospital where she underwent corneal transplant. Twelve days after her surgery, life changed dramatically for Wiley. She could see. Now Wiley is in her final year college pursuing Tamil literature. Soon, the Shankara Eye Society realized that Valli's case was not unique. There were hundreds of children out there with unidentified, curable eye problems. A realization that led to Olipadaita Kanninai, a program that trained school teachers to identify eye problem in children. Once the problem was identified, the children were brought to the base hospital with their parents, 
counseled and provided high quality Medicare free. For Sindel, it was keratoconus, the cornea turning cone shaped, making refraction impossible. Cornea transplant was the only answer. If today he can ride a bike and pursue his engineering, it's thanks to much more than modern medicine. It's thanks to a thoughtful eye donor. 450 eye camps, 2,500 cornea transplants, 20,000 free surgeries. For most institutions, it might be laurels enough to rest. For Shankara Eye Society, it was a beginning of their vision. Considering the fact that one-fifth of the world population of blind is in India, and every year four million new cases of cataract are being added, it realized it had miles to go. In other parts of the country, socially minded individuals and institutions were ready to offer infrastructure. But the Sankara Eye Society found there was no trained manpower available. If we have to replicate our success in Coimbatore, we realized we have to train people at all levels from a field worker to an eye surgeon. In Rudra Prayag in Uttar Pradesh, Madhubani in Bihar, Nasik in Maharashtra, and Mount Abu in Rajasthan. Training people from grassroots level has already begun. Today, the Shankara Eye Society feels it is necessary to formalize this training. It has set up the National Institute of Community Ophthalmology for comprehensive human resource development. The trust requires 50 lakh rupees in capital and another 25 lakh rupees to its recurring annual expenditure. This program, appropriately called Vande Mataram Bharat Vision, will work to free India suffering from curable blindness. In this 50th year of independence, the Shankara Eye Society rededicates itself to the country and its people. Its inspiration stems from the words of the Acharyas. Its strength lies in the dedication of its people. Its success lies in its approach lined with empathy. Its vision lies in the words of Rabindranath Tagore. Where the head is held high, where the mind is without fear, where the knowledge is free, where the words come from the depth of truth, where the world is not broken down by narrow domestic walls, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Miracles cannot kill the blind, but you can.